What's doing? Welcome to another episode. I know you Hilux guys will be excited because this week we have another episode of Micah. That's right, we're gonna do the Hilux today. We're gonna to do a snorkel. Uh, I may piss some people off. I may make some people happy. I don't know. Um, let's go and I'll show you what we're doing. Um, oh no, all the bolts stuff I was like, there's no fitting kit. What's that bit of plastic? Snorkel. Snorkels. That's right, so we're not fitting the uh, downpipe down the panel here. Uh, had thought about it, had thought about doing colour-coded, had thought about doing black. Um, noise, I don't want noise, I'm too old for that shit now. Um, old man. <laughs> I'm an old man snorkeler now. Uh, old man snorkeling. Uh, I've driven Hiluxes with snorkels, I've driven Navarras with snorkels, uh, Land all of them, and they sound like you suck a low-flying bird in. So, not interested, we're doing a lot of driving, I've got Gladson coming up, I've got Coffs Harbour. Uh, we're doing more trips away, so I don't want to be driving and hearing that thing suck its brains out while I'm trying to drive the car with a trail on the back. So we're doing the TJM snorkel with also the wedge tail fitting on the top, so it's not the big ram head thing at the top. So we'll get that fitted up. Uh, Josh is going to run through it today. I've got some things to do on the dyno. So we'll get Josh onto this uh, and uh, we'll do some periodic little videos where he's at and what he's doing. It won't be a step by step, uh, but you'll see what we're doing and how it looks at the end. What are you doing, Josh? Just pulling stuff apart. <laughs> First day back from holidays, and here's a camera in your face. Here's a camera in your face. All right, so we'll get, you'll get airbox out, we'll do bits and pieces, and then we'll come back and we'll uh, start drilling holes. So Josh is just masked up underneath just to try and help with any fingerprints, scratches, uh, cutting swarf, and obviously once we get this uh, hole cut out here, uh, to mark on the masking tape, not mark on the car. TGM have nicely given you a proper little cutout which you follow the dotted lines and you just follow the line of the guard where it goes. And then you have holes you need to drill for mounting and a hole for the snorkel to go through. There's also another cutting hole here which will go inside in there uh, and that'll connect all that up and have it all go through. So we'll get Josh to mask all this up and tape it up and then when he's ready to cut and drill, we'll uh, come back to you. But it's pretty straightforward. You just follow the dotted line down the, down the arch of the grill, down the arch of the guard, and that lines up perfectly flush. Mask it up, mark your holes, good to go. What got? Rubbish. Uh, so, that is rubbish now, but uh, factory intake pipe that goes up inside the guards, that sits inside the guard like that, so it's a pick up inside the guard. Uh, so that's all been pulled out and making room for the new snorkel once it's cut out there to come through here and go in through there to the airbox. with these two holes here which will bolt the inside this bolts the inside of the guard so this will bolt to the inside of the guard and keep it secure to the snorkel and then we can then attach this part of the piping this part here to the air box. So 
So Josh has already pre-drilled these little ones in the A filler here. There's bolt in and the ones down in here will go in through and we can underneath in the guard line up and put the nuts up on inside the bolts and that secures that. Come through, we'll put the nuts on there and washers, and they'll come through, and then the intake pipe will go across and then through into there. Oh, you've done that before, Josh. I have. Slid it on nice and easy, like. Done a few. Almost through my windscreen, but it's alright. Ah, we'll I'll see you. Done. We'll get some uh, pan shots later. Josh has bolted all oil in and it's all connected all the way through the snorkel. The next part is to put the airbox in. Now the airbox has this dangleberry here, which is to disperse water and try and get rid of it. Uh, that is to be siliconed and then glued back onto the body here to seal that up. We have something spicy. Spicy, Josh. We have something spicy coming in here shortly. So we're not going to glue it up. I'm not getting any water crossings anytime soon anyway. Uh, so we'll get back to this point at another time. just see the hose clamp for the head there uh, but otherwise where I'm normally driving I can't see anything at all uh, so yeah so out of vision it's really good and it's nice and quiet all right that's it this is the snorkel she's all on uh, we've had a bit of rain this afternoon so we're at the front um, and it's uh, come up really good uh, I'll do a bit of a pan by a bit of b-roll so you can see what's going on uh, but snorkels in it's all done plumbed up to the standard airbox we are going to do something else after I uh, just want to get this airbox I just want to get the uh, snorkel all fitted up and done first and then we'll do the airbox next so i can show you the differences and what's going on and uh hopefully you guys like it something else different uh different to the normal genuine one the safari one and the downpipe one uh like i said i like the downpipe style ones your big four inch stainless ones but not for me too noisy uh, i do a lot of driving so i didn't want to hear that but uh, something different anyway. So hit that like, hit subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned for more. Uh, if you guys comment and like on this, it makes me a lot better. If you guys comment and like on this, it makes it a lot easier for me to do more content uh, to make sure it's worthwhile. So if you'd like to see more N80 stuff, make sure you let me know and I'll try and get some more things for you. Cheers, guys.